Good morning. I'm out and I'm at a place called Two's Falls and I'm looking for compositions today. It is cold, it is snowy, but it is also very sunshiny. Let's go. It is a beautiful day. So, check it out. Beautiful sunshine, birds chirping. It's awesome, let's do this. says do not enter the water I don't think that's gonna be a problem here today absolutely beautiful. So what I'm excited about is not just the falls, even though the falls is absolutely gorgeous and I definitely will take images of that. But look at these trees, like, see this tree behind me? All of the branches are just covered with ice and it's absolutely stunning. And with the, the light coming in behind and the little bits of snow flying around. Look, I can see my, my breath. It's cold. <laughs> and, uh, I, I absolutely have to capture this. It looks just magical and just like there are layers of trees going along here that have this beautiful covered ice. Um, yeah, I'm gonna set up. Hey, snow! <laughs> the snow is falling off the trees. And I'm good to go. So, I'm not really loving the shot. I am going for a vertical composition just because this tree just seems to be sticking out of the side of the valley and uh, a vertical composition just kind of uh, accentuates that. However, I'm not quite sure if I'm really loving it. So, I think I might uh, turn my attention to the waterfall for a little bit and then I also <laughs> I'm just seeing like branches and trees everywhere I think I'm gonna put on my long lens my uh, 70 to 300 and I'm going to get some more really focused shots on the trees and the, the gorgeous ice that's covering them
So I'm at a higher vantage point now, and I'm not really sure that I'm going to get actually any better compositions up here than I did below. And even though it's an absolutely beautiful scene, it wasn't really perfect for finding that really great landscape, you know, like with the, the nice wide angle, with everything just kind of working together. There were too many distractions. Most of the distractions were these trees that are up high and they would kind of encroach on the bigger picture. So I did do a few close-ups and um, I really love at the bottom of the falls the way that the water is freezing as it lands in the river below and it's just kind of building up this beautiful um, mound of ice and I did try and get in a little close for some of those shots because they looked kind of like I don't know this great northern crazy you know you're lost in uh, Antarctica maybe southern yeah you know what I mean really bright day and I'm going mostly handheld unless I want to use uh, a filter or um, get a longer exposure with the running water. I'm just hiking a little bit further into the forest, see if there's anything else. <sighs> Rest time. I'm taking a break. This is actually a really good hike, very good exercise. The hills are quite steep going up and down, and I've had to be very careful. That hill, I just came down in a controlled slide. <laughs> but. Um, I have used my tripod as somewhat of a hiking pole, which is awesome. So I didn't really find too many other compositions that got me excited or wanted to, you know, pull out all my gear and take a photo, but I, I like the waterfall. It was good. It maybe wasn't as good as I'd hoped. However, it was really, it was really beautiful in its own right, and there's never a problem with getting out and spending time in the outdoors and in the winter it's kind of even better because you've got the whole place to yourself it's just amazing now I've got the Sun on my face and it's so quiet it's just beautiful this is really a huge portion of why I love doing this. So I didn't have to hike up my ISO today. I didn't have to raise it at all really. It's very bright and I used a very low aperture like f2.8, f5.6 because most of the images I was taking were quite far away so they were at infinity focus anyway and just really depended on you know, how I wanted to see the water maybe, whether I wanted there to be a little bit of motion or if I wanted to capture it. Um, the higher you put your uh, f-stop, then the, uh, usually, depending on the, the situation and the conditions, the more motion you'll get in your water because you have to leave your lens open for longer. So, anyway, yeah, just taking a quick break going to uh, have some water and then continue to hike back.
helped me. So, uh, maybe.